and then mark it down here. Okay. And then let's get this. Yeah, I couldn't get that lucky on the first try. Yeah. I want to feel the wood. Which baby? 
Put a little back bomb on them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now for the tricky part. So it's wanna, softer than my hands. We I wanna, can tell you that. We want to cut this this curve. So Same what way. we're going to use to cut this curve, I did I did lay this out wrong. Let's see here. No mistake. Okay. No, that's no, wrong. Flip that upside down. Rotate around your thigh. There, 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 there you go. Yeah, there, there we go. go. Okay. So. Don't be nervous, Rich. Don't you love, <laughs> don't you love <laughs> that there's a committee here? <laughs> <laughs> when we screw up, we'll all screw up. Yeah, but guess who's going to blame? The guy with the two ones. There we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do the same thing here that I did before. I'm going to cut down to these lines so we can waste away all of the big stuff. Because you don't want to cut all that wood away with a rasp. You really just don't. And once again, what's the name of that beautiful saw you're using? This is uh, Lee Valley's um, carcass saw. This is a 14 tooth uh, cross cut. Okay. The other one up there is a, a rip. And they both have their uses. I'm going to try to cut this in half if I can. Oh, I went a little too far. <laughs> Get too carried away. Yep. That's exactly what you do next. Okay, so let's waste away this stuff. And what this is, what's going to happen is this stuff is going to snap away right where I want it because Step of the, the short grain. So, oh, sorry about that, whoever that hit. I was trying to help you out because you cut it too deep. But I won't well, take it all out of there. Okay, so that gets rid of a whole bunch of junk there. And we can cut that off. I definitely do. Okay, so now we want to use I'm doing this, the cabinet maker's <laughs> rasp. So we've got a hollow curve here, and we've got a, um, what, a convex? Convex. Concave convex. Curve. Concave convex. So we want to be, now when you're using a rasp like this, you don't want to be dragging back because you'll dull the teeth. You want to use it on the push, just like any other file. You know, if you use a mill bastard file, you should use it the same way. But I see a lot of people push and then drag, and all they're going to do is dull the file. Freaking amazing. We okay. have to take the camera out of her hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's difficult to do once you understand how to waste all that wood away. So after you're after you get that pretty close to what you want, then what sandpaper do you jump to? Um, this one I just sanded with an 80 grit, and I, I left it there. 